Okay. Um, for those who uh, don't know me, I'm Al Pacino. For the rest of you, uh, I'm Ed Simon from Sports Network. Um, thank you for coming along this evening to the launch of the Queensbury Five Network. Um, this is a, uh, a partnership between Sports Network, MyOmni, and Microsoft, uh, and is an internet-based a global broadcast um, boxing channel uh, and in an exclusive uh, partnership between Sports Network, Naomi and uh, Microsoft, we believe that this has the capability of uh, revolutionizing um, boxing broadcast around the world. Uh, as it is launched, uh, which will be um, June the 21st, it will already be available in 100 million homes in 49 countries uh, and um, it's a very exciting um, uh, 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 broadcast channel. So I'd like to hand you over to Mike Vanier, who is the CEO of MyOmni, who will take you through exactly what it means and how it works. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. Um, okay, before I start, I'd just like to sort of set the scene a little bit. Um, what I'd like to do is sort of just think of this as, as, as a front room, and even though we've got huge screens here, just, just think of the screens as your TV, okay? So everything I'm doing is based on a TV set um, with a remote control. So what's happened in the industry recently, well, not recently, but what's re where we are now is um, three thing, major things have happened in the industry to, to enable what I'm gonna show you possible. Um, the first thing is people like Intel, AMD are producing faster computers, faster chips, um, and actually they're actually being able to build computers that are smaller, um, ergonomically formed, so they can actually now come into the room of, in your living room rather than actually be something that's a grey box that you actually put in your study. Um, the other thing, uh, which is a big thing, is Microsoft launched Vista uh, J uh, January um, last year. Um, now, Vista, most PCs that are Vista enabled um, can do everything I'm going to show you now out the box, basic functionality, okay? Um, you'll also find that if you go and buy a new PC now, most PC, new PCs you buy uh, tend to come with one of these, which is a remote control, okay? You've got all got uh, remote controls uh, pink on the tables, and again, if you were to plug that remote control into a uh, Vista-enabled PC, um, again, you'll be able to do everything I'm doing here. So there's nothing clever, I've got nothing special software load or anything, it's just a base, it's just a Windows Vista uh, Media Center. Okay, and the third thing is broadband. Okay, so broadband penetration, we all know about that. Um, I don't need to go into too much detail. So, I mentioned about the remote control, okay? One thing you'll find is all the remote controls that come with these PCs now, and even on your, on your desk, they have a green button on the remote control, okay? And when you hit the green button, um, this happens. I now come into what is called uh, Windows Media Center. So here I am on my TV in the front room. I've hit the green button. Um, and I'm now into this, this menu system which is designed to be used with a remote control. So no keyboard, no mouse, no sort of technology, you don't have to worry about what I'm using, just pick up the control, hit the green button. Um, now what I've got here, basic functionality, if I show you the basic functionality, I've got to come here, I can access my picture library. Um, so if I have a digital camera, um, which most of us have, um, I can bore the family to tears in the front room and take you through my digital photography, okay? Again, very simple, just flick of the, flick of the control, um, just hit back and remote control. I've also got here a video library, okay? So again, if I've got any digital videos that I've actually downloaded from the internet or, or videos that uh, I've taken with my video camera, I come here and I can access my video content. I'll stop that. Um, so again, um, you can see how, how quick and easy this is and how slick the menus are. Music, these systems support 7.1 surround sound. So it means that I can actually use it as, my, as, a, as, a, as a surround sound uh, system. Um, again, music that I've, I've, I've got, I can then come around here and I can just access various um, music tracks that I may have. Um, I can then select the track, um, I can then play the music and so on. And that will then go off and start playing uh, the music. Um, in this case, it's uh, 
it's looking for a, a DRM license, but um, I think you can get the idea. Um, it's, again, it's very simple just to go around and access that. Um, the other thing here, uh, digital radio. Um, so it's a, a DA, it uses DAB as well. Uh, I've also got down here uh, TV and movies. Um, now, this is really interesting because here I can plug in my cable or my standard aerial, um, which is brought with a broadcast signal, and I can now use this to watch all my broadcast channels. So again, one, one TV, one machine, one control, and I can use it for all my broadcast channels, as well as all my content, my pictures, my photographs, etc. Um, I've also got here an EPG, Electro Program Guide. This is all downloaded automatically for me from the internet, so I can access all my um, you know, broadcast uh, TV. Of course, it's a DVD player as well. The new ones are HD DVD. So, all of a sudden, what you've got here um, is, is a very sort of powerful um, way of, of accessing all your um, entertainment content. Now, what I've done here is I just want to give you some background on what, this, what these systems can now do. Now, there are already around about 100 million worldwide enabled machines, okay? So, so you can see the size of the market. Now here, where we really come in, and what we're about here today, is not about my pictures, my movies, my, my, my photographs. It's all about online media, okay? Now this is how you go online with this platform. This is how I go onto the internet. Um, if I go into here, and I access um, Explore, I'm now looking at online channels, okay? So no longer do you have to worry about www. trying to remember URLs and spend millions on marketing a URL. You're now, your brand, your content is very high profile, okay? So here I am on my home deck, and again, I'm represented as an icon, um, which I can just scroll around with my remote control, Okay, and just an example, we're here also talking about boxing sports. Let's, uh, let's look at uh, Arsenal TV. Arsenal, if you don't know, is, is a major premiership uh, football team um, in the uh, UK. <laughs> <Who was that>? <laughs> 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 so here, um, again, see how quick that was? So now I'm in the channel, okay? This is, everything I'm doing here is live, by the way. There's no smoke and mirrors. This isn't all coming off my off a hard drive somewhere. This is live, just using the hotel internet connection as well. And, it's, and, it's, and everything I'm doing here is live. So now I can scroll through um, my chat. I can actually look at Arsenal TV and I can, I can look at classic games. I can look at domestic cups, European matches, other matches, greatest moments, top fives, okay? I can even buy off this channel. So for example, it's because what you're seeing here is, is the best of internet mixed with the best of broadcast. So let's, let's, let's go into something like um, league matches. Here, it gives me a list of games. I'm going to scroll through the games. Um, you know, I'm going to choose something to do. Arsenal Manchester United. <laughs> and uh, what this, this is using the internet. It's going offline to find this content. Simplicity. Adverts. Only from O2. So it supports adverts, it's all ad driven. And once obviously they've got the stingers out of the way, it then goes to uh, bring in the game. Bring in the premiership. Four two the win on this ground. Now I can now United's sit back and watch this game. Okay? This is true on demand. Yes, I do. Um, obviously, what I did there is I went as a guest. I wasn't technically registered. So how, how does this work? How does this, this is actually pay-per-view, okay? So now, it remembers the last time I used this, so it comes up. I can now put in a four-digit pin here, and guess what? Obviously, remote controls come with the, the number pads on here. So I could now put in, for example, 20... Uh, sign in. I'm now successfully in. So now, what it's actually done is taken the payment of my credit card, which I've already signed up with on the channel. So it's only I'm only paying as I want to watch. Okay. So now I can access any of these games. I can sit back and watch the whole games. Um, I can actually come out of this and I can go into league matches and watch the greatest moments. Um, you know, let's uh, let's select that. Um, and here now it will let me watch anything I want to watch.